Hello, and welcome to another Airsofty Talkie video. This one's going to be very informative and uh, kind of sciencey. Probably not as sciencey as it could be, uh, just because everybody, I think everybody has their own thoughts and opinions on, on this topic today. And what we're going to be talking about is, does size really matter? Of course, we all know it does. Not necessarily the bore. Uh, I think that's something which has been widely contested, and there isn't a kind of definitive answer on you know what is better tight or wide but something which uh, I, I think is definitely up for debate is uh, is length so we're going to be looking at our lengths today specifically the lengths of AEG barrels I started off with an M4 I upgraded it loads I then went to sniping got myself a VSR upgraded that loads and now I've come back to the M4 platform where I'm so happy seriously M4 gameplay is like the best thing ever so yeah you should if you don't do it do it and don't start airsofting purely with the idea to snipe. It doesn't work like that. You, you'll be sorely disappointed if you if you come airsofting purely to snipe. I guarantee you that. Generally, when people were talking about, you know, you'll buy a gun, you know, it's brand new, it's great, you'll run it, run it for a while, and then people will say, what upgrades can I do? And generally, the first thing people will say is, you can do the barrel or you can do the hop rubber and, you know, a plethora of other things. But generally, those are the first two kind of things that, that you'll look at when you want to want to upgrade your gun. Always people will want to have a longer barrel because longer barrels are better. If it's longer, there's more barrel, that's probably better for me. Always depends on the type of gameplay you're looking for. But generally speaking, yes, a, a longer barrel will make you more accurate. It could increase your your fps it could also decrease your fps it could also make you not as accurate um and there's another of things at play i'm mainly going to be focusing on um fps kind of gains as opposed to accuracy just because accuracy people will, will, will kind of like come at it and say that the the tightness of, the, of like the bore of the barrel whether it's you know 6.01 6.02 6.05 you know that kind of thing i i generally my barrels are either 6.02 i find that that's a nice little middle ground so go for that all the maple leaf crazy jets are 602 let's talk about my current gun so i use the crytax crb although it's kind of zombied at the minute as you can see that's because i'm testing it i'm doing some playing around with it uh, and that's what spurred me on to make this video so it was stock and shooting stock on 0.2 bbs um it was out the box 340 now i've used it for a while it was about 310 so i I decided to put a new spring in it, which is also one of the kind of like common first upgrades you'll find that most people will, will do with their guns. So I went from the stock spring, which is as far as I'm aware, a M100, uh, and I went to an M105, which gave me a nice little kind of FPS boost um, of around 30, 20, 25 to 30 FPS. So it took me from the 310 mark up to the 340 mark. So yeah, very happy with that. I also bought myself an M110 because I wanted to see, you know, the option and that took me up to like 375, 380. So that was like another 35, 40 FPS on top of that, which took me over sight limits, which wasn't, wasn't that great. But here we are, same, you know, stock barrel, which was 280 mil, uh, which is this length here. Look at that. It looks really tiny, I must admit. It really does look small compared to what I'm kind of used to. But that's the stock barrel, 280 mil. I've, I've, I've been doing well with it. I've enjoyed it. I think it's a very nice mid-range, you know. It was quite a short rifle, good for close quarters. And also the range and accuracy, it was, it was, it was doing quite well. But I must admit, on the weekend, I was a little bit saddened by uh, my lack of accuracy and accuracy at range. So what I decided to do um, was... Um, take my old Maple Leaf Crazy Jet barrel that I had for my VSR, the 470 mil Crazy Jet barrel I had of my VSR, and put that in into here. And uh, I had a barrel extension. I had a, a mock suppressor, and that's where we found ourselves at today. So yeah, this is the new current look of my uh, Crytac CRB. I think it actually looks quite swanky. You know, it's definitely. A fair chunk longer uh, than I would, you know, I was hoping it to be because I do quite like getting around the tight corners. Um, but that's that's where we're at at the minute, and I'm kind of looking forward to to giving it a play and and seeing how this handles CQB. Kind of feel that in general at the minute, my CQB to non-CQB gameplay uh, is is much more in the non-CQB 
gameplay. So I think I can warrant having a bit of a longer barrel for the time being. Whether adding an extra 990 millimeters is going to be a bit overkill, we'll find out. But at the minute, we've got a 470 mil barrel in here, boys. We are going for it. But what do you think it's going to chrono at? Let's do a test. So we had... 221, 225, 223, 218, 219. A nice little group. Let's say that we average that at, so 225, 219. Let's say that average that 222, you know, sake of argument. So we're gonna check this out on the FPS chart. Here we have it, and for those of you that may not be familiar, you essentially have your BB weight on the side here. So we were using 0.28s. We then go across to find the FPS that we had. So we are at 222 which is less than this one here. And if we were at 253, that would be an equivalent 300 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs. Now you may be asking why am I not doing this test with 0.2 gram BBs? I haven't got any. So for now, this is just gonna have to do. So yeah, as you can see, we are fairly low. It would always be better to test this with 0.2s, but I don't have any, so we can't really do that for now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take my point, my M110 spring, I'm going to pop that into the gun, and then I'm going to re-chrono it. So, let's, uh, let's get springy! But you don't have to see this happen. Look, it's done already! So that actually put us... Oh, still below 300 FPS. Interesting. Hmm. See, I would have thought we would have been more than that. It sounded like more than that. Two, four, three. Yeah, two, four, three. Interesting. I'm going to see if I can source some 0.2 BBs. Because I feel like it must be bigger than that. Bear with me. Over those BBs, we were at... Uh, 300. 299. 298. 302. 301. So, on twos, we are confidently at 300. And what, we were before at 244. 243 on 28s. So yeah, that's all within the realm of of looking at 300 FPS. Interesting. So yeah, that's that's been our little result today. Thanks for watching. Let me know, you know, in the comments, you know, teach me teach me the ways of science and airsoft guns. And I'll, yeah, I'll see see you later guys. See you later.